bosses always have the best stories to tell. And I want to tell a story about my first day working, getting paid the most I've ever been paid per hour. And I'm blessed. I have company vehicles I can choose from. My main one is a big van with everything I need in it. A newer one. Okay. And this is it's just a shame. Just I give praises to Allah because I told him, and, I, and everything's recorded, I asked him for some money. Okay. And this is a blessing. I got a $6 raise. All praises to the Allah. You know, I serve the real God. I serve Allah. Don't you know that Allah said, what if I chose to destroy Christ and his mother? Who can stop him? Okay. There's no deity worthy, 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 worthy of worship but Allah. All right? You better get that down packed. Okay? And the Bible don't say nothing like that. Okay? In the Old Testament, it does. It'll tell you, he never shares his glory with no one. And I don't share my glory with nobody. I am not Jesus Christ Superstar. I'm Super God. I took the nails. All right. That's on Octane and J Payne. I am not. I've been saying I was Al Matty. I've been saying I was Al Matty. Today, I worked. And pretty much did nothing today, really, honestly. <laughs> My team, we chill, we chill, like we chill, like we we just chill, you know what I mean? We, I did a little bit, okay? Mostly towards the end of the day is mostly where all the work popped off after lunch. And this guy, his name is David. Me and him both the painters. Everything that Allah wants me to do, he'll show it to me through my job. So now I am the founder of the house of David. And now I'm working with a youngster by the name of David. Okay? And it's a picture of Riston, that's all it is, because when he gave me the tape roll today, okay, the paper tape, he put it on my wrist, and he had one on his wrist, because it was going to come in handy, and I was just like, wow. I'm like, wow. Everything that this guy dreamed of is being played out through people. All right, I went from one job to another because that's me going from one woman into some virgins and into another one and into another one. Okay, I got a total of three virgins from Mexico to go into. Soon as I go into the boss's office, which is really the same building, the same shop, where I was just working at. I see the female last witness, last name on the wall. I'm like, wow. And then I look up and I see a big white board. For some reason, in my last boss office, he didn't have that. But the next boss office, which is next door to each other, he has a white board. I'm telling you, everything that this boy Riston has done, it must have been in the records 
to publish it and announce it. Okay? Now the nation of Edom, the white race, they always see me. They can always see me. Black people can see me too now. I'm not just saying white people can't see me. I'm not just saying that. Black people can see me too. I want to get my hair braided and this boy would not leave me alone. Most of the time he always quiet. But when I found out I was out Matty man, that boy would not stop talking to me. He got in trouble a few times. Had to, been told to go to his room and play somewhere. There's grown-ups around. And that boy wouldn't leave me alone. And I just kept talking to him. I went along with everything he was talking about. And then I, when I got in the car, I told my wife, I said, he know I'm out, Matty. That's all it is. Okay? So the white boy, going back to story number one, because bosses have the best stories to tell. The guy's chill. He's cool. You know, he's cool. Don't ask, didn't ask no questions. Minds his business, because he didn't ask me no questions. Most men are nosy like women. Okay, he didn't ask me no questions. All right. He was cool. Helped me out. Anything I need help with. Just laughed and just chilled today, really. Um, and what I kept noticing is that everything that me and Riston was talking about was just surfacing. Okay. First of all, when you walk into any real restaurant freezer, you walk into the walk-in, the temperature is 34. Oh. That was shown to me today. I was like, oh, wow. These boys are showing me 34, and these guys are so nice to me. They so nice to me. Even before I started working with them, they was nice to me. They always treated me with respect, because they can see me. There's some people that can see me, man, and I'll tell you what, they give me the utmost respect, okay? A prophet is only without honor amongst his own people, okay? And today was a good day. You know, I jumped into my company van. I got a big van. Camera, backup, you know, brand, you know, new. You know, you can tell it's got the, the stereo, Bluetooth, you know, all them capabilities. You know, and we got a couple of them. You know what I mean? And I'm in there. I'm in there. My boss, my other boss was Jello. And you know what? One thing I do like about him is that he was the first person to start calling me D-Man at work. And D-Man, you can you can literally say Maddie. <laughs> he was the first one. Everybody shifted to start calling me D, D, because I'm Maddie. Everything is going according to plan. So when my boss see me walk in today, all right, he see me go into another department. He was like, oh, okay, that's how it is. I was like, ain't nothing personal. Ain't nothing personal. He was like, oh, no, I'm just playing. <laughs> he said, I'm just playing. <laughs> Real quick, okay? Because I got a $6 raise. I got a $6 raise. And I'm not cutting grass no more. I'm painting. Because that's what Allah wants me to do. Allah wants me to paint some booty. He wants me to paint New Mexico. Israel, this all is according to plan. I never knew. Out of all my brothers and sisters. I'm the only one that has brother and two sisters in New Mexico. And this was right around the time I met my wife. I'm currently married to, with, legally, okay? Now, when all this popped off, this was right in the beginning. I'm meeting my Maria, you know, I'm meeting my dad, my auntie, MMM just start coming in my life. My wife got her name on her chest under mine that she has on my chest. So it's DM, Matt D. Okay. Going to the doctors, Matt D. 
Medical, medical, Maddie. Everything just, just kept trying to tell me I'm the Maddie. Everything. Every little thing, man. And so now I'm going forward. I know I'm the Maddie. And I know who I am. And so when the boss see me, he was a little jello, I can tell. I, I can tell. And all the other guys was happy to see me from my same job. You know, they was just like, yeah, man, you did the right thing, dude. You know, even my boss that used to be my boss before this guy started calling me Matty was my boss. He even texted me and told me I deserve it. All this is chump change. I run the world. They don't realize I run the world because I don't tell them. I don't tell them. It's very hard to tell someone that you are God the Father who came back as a man. Okay? Everybody is not going to be able to receive anything like that. Although it's in Exodus 23 through 4. Same thing I'm telling you. In the numbers is the end, 34. And verse 5 is key. It tells you that God the Father is going to visit the earth. And he's not going to let nobody get away. And he's going to judge it. He's not going to clear the guilty. He tells you that right there in Exodus 23 through 4. And so that's who I am. And so there's been a few family members that I had to tell because I got a social network platform now. I got Facebook, Instagram, TikTok to pump the truth and sell clothing. Not interested so much in posting my feelings or... Um, anything else like that i'm interested in promoting the truth okay that's my thing but to sum it up about my day everything that i've seen today um show me um proof that riston really did have that dream he really did have that dream okay all right and what was amazing was today I got to paint. Um, I got to paint a little bit on after lunch, and this it was just me and him doing it. Okay, this boy. Okay, I truly believe by Allah's leave is going to help me do what I need to do. I ain't gonna say too much because I haven't even told him yet. All right, the things that Allah wants me to do is in the hate deep, okay? He wants me with my thin, skinny, black self to take apart the Kaaba. You answer me. Why is it a black man on top of a Arabian Kaaba when it first starts off to wake these people up for prayer and little are they grateful okay to wake them up for prayer then it is with a skinny black boy from Ethiopia which is a metaphor for the omnipotent is going to be God Almighty himself who comes back to earth as a man that's going to take the Kaaba apart and there's plans where it's supposed to go. I'm not telling you. I know exactly where it's supposed to go. I'm the man with the pile of dates. <laughs> I'm the man with the pile of dates. Not, not just talking about actual dates like events. I'm talking about scriptures. <laughs> I'm the real below. I got a pile of dates. I got a pile of scriptures. I got a pile of birthdays. I got a pile of Bibles. Pile of Hadiths. On top of the Quran. Got a last day witness to connect to. But all I can say is there's a reason why the white race has been over us for so long. Okay. And I think Riston was um, one of the reasons why. I truly believe because um he had that dream. He had that dream. He seen it. He seen me. 
he seen that I was solo man, Noah, Al Manny, the father. He's so crazy about Jesus and he's seen his father. And he don't realize it yet. His last name is Allah. I'm on. And he's trying to tell me about Jesus. This boy literally has my last name. Okay? He's the he's the reason why we call white boys white boy. He's the reason why. This is the reason why we got all these guys as rappers in sync. Um, you know, all these little rappers. I can't even think about all their names with their little high hots, little hits. Bye bye and all that. Bye bye. All these dudes is pictures of Riston. Okay, now there's other ones. There's other people. There's there's other whites that's going to do some things that's going to be valiant in the future for Al Maddie. Okay, there's going to be others. It's not going to just be Riston. Okay, let me let that be known very clear. Okay, because Allah revealed to me, man, that I got a cold-blooded white girl sold out who's already been seeing me. Before I even mention I'm Al Maddie, they just kind of felt something about me. And they going to be martyrs. They going to support the truth like it's nobody business. Separating family if they have to. Okay? They going to make some women feel some type of way how much they going to support me. I cry. Tears stream down. Well, Allah showed me how many damn white girls that is going to be sold out for Maddie. I was shocked. I was like, wow. Teardrop. Because they always loved me. Even before I was out, Maddie. And I got music online. Where I'm coming against the nation of Edom and against white people because I was in the Israelite movement. Allah wanted me to know I was Israel. Okay, and they can keep them teachings to themselves because I'm the teacher. All right. And I got some lot of music that have hurt some of my closest. Uh, white people feelings, but I didn't care, man, because I'm a God man. Okay, I'm a God man before anybody. All right, so once I came back to Islam, that's when I start re embracing uh, white people. Okay, because if, it, if I would have stayed in Israel and in, in their breakdowns and their interpretations. I would have been hating people that's been loving me better than some of the people that look like me or tan, <laughs> okay? Because they have, okay? I can't lie. I can't deny the truth. But you know what? There's judgment for all people. Oh, yes. There's judgment for all people. All right? I'm the man that's going to judge the world. I'm the man that's going to judge the world. Okay? And we have to honor Mr. Riston because the last witness ain't woke up yet. And here he has. Okay? Here he has. So he, 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 he's not in Islam, but he's accepting the mission statement of the last witness okay last witness job the female job is to tell the end her job is simple her job is simple that's one part of her job there's other parts of her job as well it's none of your business yet all right it's not none of your business yet so this boy is being honored for the simple fact of the dream and seeing it and believing actually that 2034 is the end all right and who knows what the future holds
But Allah revealed to me that I got a cold blooded sold out serious white girl team for Al Madi. I'm like, dang. And every time I go to work, the gestures, the way they look at me, the way they see me, it's just like they looking at me, they like, why don't you just tell me? <laughs> <laughs> and they don't know because I'm solo profile. They don't know. I. They don't know. I don't talk about none of that there. None of that. You know what I mean? It's work. It's work. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I can just tell. And sometimes I feel bad because the the signs they showed me that day was like, you know, the conversation because I'm a listener, the way they talking is it's just like, you know, why don't you just tell me? Why don't you just tell me? And, I, and I'm not telling them. And I'm not. <laughs> Come up to me like, what up, D? What's up, D? What's up, D? <laughs> Tell me, D. <laughs> All right. I ain't ready for you to break up a happy home just yet. I'm just messing with y'all. But yeah, but it is serious. It's like that. I get those gestures, but I just, I don't hearken to them. I haven't, I haven't told nobody. Okay. They're worried that way. But yeah, this, this boy is accepting the the mission statement of the last witness right now and she ain't woke up yet so that's why we honor him it doesn't mean that um there are not going to be any other people that's going to be black that's going to be sold out uh, that's Arabian that's going to be sold out or Chinese or any or anything we don't discriminate on any race or anything it can be another white person that's going to be sold out I already just told you about the white girls okay I don't know everything I only know what Allah shows me and that's it and right now that's what he shows me he shows me this boy is dreaming about the end and his name is wrist first and i got the name of the end on my wrist that is not no coincidence for us two to meet that it that was no coincidence and it's because he's not like y'all that sit around and, and do other things, but he actually wants to debate someone who doesn't believe in his version of Jesus. That's how he met me. He met me by email. He met me by email, okay? And inside email, what do you have? You have a A and you have a L, Allah. Okay. Okay. Right inside email. Inside the email, you can say I'm Allah. That's all you need is L and A to say Allah. Duh. You don't need a H. H is silent in most uh, time. Most times when it's pronounced. All right. And that's how we met. He sent me an email first. He found me. I wasn't looking for him. He found me. He wanted to debate. We debated probably like two, three times, maybe two. And then I would ask him to break down verses and in his interpretations of the verses didn't add up to what I believed. So I just kind of cut him off, you know, he kept emailing, we just kind of cut it off. I kind of, you know, just shut it down, you know, you know what, you know, I'm done with this, you know. And then he hits me up out of the blue, talking about he's dreaming about me teaching in a classroom with a white board doing some strange interpretations. And I had just bought one October the 9th. And this was just three, four days ago he said this. 
okay so this is why I'm pondering in deep thought and then going to work today um, I went from wearing the brown and blue uniform now I'm about to be wearing the brown and the brown uniform okay and I'm looking at my department number and it goes automatically to the last two witnesses number 11 11 is our witness why because the last two witnesses is mentioned in Revelation 11 not only that the Twin Towers both fell on when September the 11th okay so 11 is the sign of the two witnesses and we know it's a woman why because inside 11 what do we have eve wow see i told you i told you i told you there was a heavenly eve and there was a heavenly adam and i am the heavenly adam and the last witness is the heavenly eve that's all it is and we the last two witnesses and we have to judge we have to judge when you put a God before God, okay, the Bible says that the fathers, the um, that God would visit the fathers' iniquity upon the children to the third and fourth generation. That's Exodus 3. That's Exodus 23 through 5. To the third and fourth generation is going into 2034. Okay. And when I say white, you can say white just simply by saying W-I-T. And inside W-I-T, you have the numbers 23, then you have 9, then you have 20. And 20 goes into twin. It's going into the two towers falling. It's going into the last two witnesses ultimately falling, dying. And so you can take that 20 and turn it into a 2. Instead of 2, 0, you make it 0, 2. And that equals 30 for the end. That's what Riston was dreaming about. Me teaching in a classroom. Because out of all people in the world, he was dreaming about a guy who actually does believe he knows the time of the end. <laughs> Okay, so white is the key word in witnesses. Okay, that's why the last witness is a female. She's a female because we just went over Eve. Not only that, um, Riston is being honored simply because she ain't woke up yet and that sound like the type of person i am and how it was written in the plan in the book everything is going according to plans and this is the reason why the movie training day with denzel and the white actor that's what that was a picture of what i'm experiencing right now and about to experience same thing with two guns. Same thing with brothers. Okay? Same thing with Eminem. There is always one white person, whether it's in rap, whether it's in acting, whether it's in something, that he's a picture of someone. And that is Riston. I see it. Okay? Allah always saves the best for last. And years ago, he asked me to help him save the world. But human beings, you know what we do? We sometimes doubt ourselves. We sometimes doubt ourselves and we sometimes forget things. But Allah doesn't. And he's swift in reckoning. Let me tell you something. He is swift in reckoning. All right. So we honor him, simply put. Good day. Good day at work. It was awesome. 
um, working side by side um, the department where I used to work was pretty cool I got to see the things that they are more chill about and more anal about a little bit which I didn't see any of that because it simply was chill because the boss is chill all right and the boss amazingly was amazing about this let me show you how this last two witness stuff is so real the boss was the person who saw me first when I broke my third and fourth toe or metatorsal this year He was the one who hired me and gave me $6 more in another position under another company. Actually owns the land in this gated community in this resort where I work at. <laughs> All right. The white guy was paying me $16. Okay. And the black guy. I can tell he's mixed. He looks like my son. Okay. He's paying me 22 And giving me benefits. Oh, medical. 401k, everything. All right. And I still got another job. Working for the same company. But all this stuff is about to go. Because I'm about to go international. Okay. And I'm out for two or three witnesses. Let every word be established. And it establishes. And we establishing it right now. I pray in Allah's name. That's how I pray that this truth will go out into all the four corners of the earth, piercing the hearts of those who have idolized Jesus and made him more than what he is into welling tears. Households are going to break up because of this truth. Because I'm here. It never was about Jesus. It was all about his father. It was all about his mother. You honor what? What does the law say in Exodus 20? It says honor your father and your mother. Honor your mother and your father. Don't tell you to honor your son. Tell you to kill your son if he's a drunkard. If he's stubborn. If he's rebellious. If he's a glutton, stone him. Be the first to. Okay? It don't tell you to do that to a, a parent. It only tells you to do that to a son. And this world is so upside down. That's why I'm here turning it right side up. I am Al Maddie. I've been sent here to clean up this earth, which is originally mine, and I've been promoted to being heir of the worlds by the Lord of the worlds, and his name is Allah. He has the best of names. Okay? So when that boy was dreaming, going back to that, he was dreaming about not only 34 be in the end but he was dreaming about witnesses see white wit white wit witnesses okay he came along to help the last witness who is a woman have faith and to believe in who she is all right because He's going to help her wake up. Okay? Because we in this thing. I conversate with him. 
I don't text people like that. I really don't. I text family. You know what I mean? I text family. That's that's not to even be mentioned. Okay. All right. But other than that, I don't mess around with people. But I can hit him up right now if I want to. I can text him. He'll text back. Even though we opposite religion. And I'm telling him, hey, receive your Maddie. I'm here. I'm here. You're going to have to break away from these people that think they know something. Let me tell you something. Even your pastors, pastors, pastors ought to weep and cry like a baby because Al Maddie is here. And I have been debating on what I'm going to do with these Christians. Should I give them all six do threes? Okay, make them serve three years. For serving a lie in Christianity. I did 6 do 3. I had to do a 6 do 3. Okay, automatically. Okay. I'm debating on doing that. Okay. This is my world. This is my plans. Okay. I'm debating on putting the Christians and, and the Muslims, okay? That's modeling, wearing all these garments, dressing like a woman when these boys are struggling with homosexuality. I'm thinking about giving the Muslims um, eighteen to two eighteen to two years. The imams, the ones who's teaching, okay? I can do this. I can do this. And I'm shutting down all teachers. Nobody teaching. Nobody teaching. Nobody teaching. The last witness is the reader. And the last witness can prophesy. Yes, she can. She's a witness. It says the last two witnesses. It didn't say the last three witnesses. It says the last two witnesses. Okay? Yeah. We shouldn't teach him down. And I have disciplinary action for all of those who have been teaching the Bible, leading people to hell. As it is written in the book of Revelation, chapter 13, the church is going to go into captivity. They are going to be overcome. Okay? It tells you that right there in the book of Revelation. Okay. Tells you that the nations is going to go into captivity as well. The Arabs is going to be ruled as well. Okay. That's how you know that when it says that he is going to be the ruler of the Arabs, that this man is not an Arab. Because if it was an Arab, it would have said he's going to rule the world. So in other words, the Arabs is not going to rule the world. <laughs> the Arabs is going to be ruled by Israel, who they always been ruled by. Think about it. Your Messiah is an Israelite. Your Messiah is an Israelite. Your Messiah Jesus is an Israelite. Your El Mahdi is an Israelite. What is you talking about? I'm more than an Israelite. Actually... I'm the last Jacob. I'm about to restart the 12 tribes of Israel. Who is this teacher? Who's teaching him this? Allah talks to me. Whatever he wants to, while I'm talking, he can just start talking. And that's what exactly just happened on this broadcast. Allah just started talking through me. I'm waking up and I'm recovering and trying to remember what I just said. Okay, because he dropping, <laughs> dropping knowledge. The knowledge of the Lord is going to cover the earth like the knowledge of the Lord covers heaven. The knowledge of the Lord is going to cover the earth like the waters cover the sea. It's going to happen right here in the house of David. It goes down. It goes down. What an awesome day today. Today was so chill. It was so peaceful. Um, it was a blessing. Personality differences between the bosses. Oh, man. He's so chill. Um, one of the guys said today, he was like, the David, he said, man, he said, I've been knowing him for a long time. He said, he said, 
He's gonna have to yell at me or something, man, or I'm gonna freaking freak out. He's so chill. And I was like, that's the way you want it. <laughs> and that's how he is too. Because we get we, we, we get the job done for the most part. You know, we're working because we want a job. You know, most people working is because they want a job. Okay. Supposed to be. Okay. Okay, it all depends on what area you're at. I know right here, we want a job. We got bills to pay, okay? We got child support, we got all that here, okay? It goes down in the house of Matty. So giving praises to Allah, summing up the total of my day. My day was amazing. I hung around people that told me good morning, hung around people that spoke to me, um, asked if I was okay, told me goodbye. I hung around people um, that's always be that's always been doing this rather before I even got this position. You know what I mean? And if Allah led me to tell one of them, I would. And trust me, it was tempting seeing all the signs through David today, you know, but I didn't say nothing to David, okay? I didn't say nothing to him, although um, he was a picture of Riston. He was a picture of Riston. Riston got fans. <laughs> the boy got fans and don't even know. Okay. Now, the last witness, man, she got fans. Okay. She got fans. She got fans, man. She got fans. Okay. Assalamu alaikum to my brothers and sisters in the real truth.